Hey, CX Passport Travelers, welcome to another Thursday, which means it is another One Take Thursday day, another opportunity to go with some really low production value, some thoughts that are off the top of my head, and just want to share some stories and some ideas with you. As always, would love it if you would hit that subscribe button or subscribe button, still not sure which side it's on, hit that subscribe button, and then give me some feedback. Uh, hey, I'm a customer experience guy. I want to get your feedback. So go down there in the comments. Let me know what you think about One Take Thursday, the concept. Let me know what you think about specific topic today. Hey, let me know what you think might be a really good topic for the future. Would love to engage in that uh, conversation that way. So hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. And third, hey, tell somebody. Tell somebody about One Take Thursday and share it with them. Share the CX Passport with them. Now, I got a little story to tell you, and it's a story that's going to be about customer experience. But first, we're going to talk about Uni Haskell. Uni Haskell is a 62-year-old woman who has quite the golfing story to share. And full credit to Howard Tiersky. He was a guest, a former guest on the CX Passport podcast, and he is the one who shared this story with me. Uni, 62, uh, has done a whole lot in life and decided, you know, I haven't tried golf, so let me go out there and learn how to play golf. Well, she takes a couple of months of lessons and, and works uh, out at the range and you know getting her form the way that you might want to get your form right and feels pretty confident after two months. Now, I'm going to stop down and say that I am not a golfer. I call myself a wedding golfer. That means that I only played golf when I went to somebody's wedding, which, as you can tell from the gray, is a stage of life that has passed me by. Maybe I may be recycling, hopefully not too soon, but soon enough with my kids, maybe in the next few years. But wedding golfer. But Uni had gotten her two months months of lessons in and so she decided to head out to a, a par three nearby and she's got her clubs and she heads out there with a couple of friends and she heads up to that first tee and she puts the ball down gets ready comes back with her swing and well actually looks pretty good coming off the tee you know for a first timer and it kind of floats out there and gets over to the fairway just barely missing a bunker off to the left side well as the ball keeps going in its flight, it hits a little bit short of the green, but it keeps rolling. And it kind of keeps rolling. And then, oh my gosh, it made it to the green and it's starting to slow down, but then it keeps going. Is it? Is it really? It rolls and rolls and rolls and falls into the cup. Uni Haskell, 62 years old, two months of lessons on her very first round of golf, her very first time to a full golf course, her very first swing at a tee has hit a hole in one. I talk a lot about total voice of the customer and total voice of the customer is listen and act and a key element of listen is the collect. All right, listen to all the various customer listen points, but today it's not about collect. Today it's gonna be about analyze. That's a key part of listening to the customer. What do I mean by analyze? Well, it's important to discern what the themes are. And the key to that is not just the themes that are the loudest or the most frequent or the most exciting themes. That won't serve you well. It's got to be the themes that are actually going to drive your business forward, that are going to drive the overall customer experience forward in a way that is means something to the customer so that it either enhances, it changes, it corrects their purchasing behavior so that it creates business results. This customer experience stuff is great. It's great. It's important. It doesn't mean anything if we don't get to business results. And if you aren't analyzing correctly to make sure that it's not just the loudest or the most frequent, but the ones that have the most business impact that you're hearing from your customer, that's important. Now, hey, you got a loud customer that's upset? Restore that relationship. This is not to say don't restore relationships and ignore customers just because they're one-offs. No, absolutely not. Different story for a different time. What does that have to do with Uni Haskell? If we used Uni Haskell's story, it is exciting, it is dramatic, it is shocking, it is loud if you want to consider it that way. Well, if we considered her story based off of those factors to be what we focused on when we thought of the game of golf, we would assume that all of us would be heading out there and hitting hole of ones. And that would be what the golfer experience would be. I can attest to this, that that is not something that I have experienced and I have very little expectation of ever experiencing a hole in ones. And I've already passed my first time at the tee, so I can't replicate that. And that's the point, that even though it was a dramatic story, it was an exciting story, Uni Haskell's story is not a story that informs what the overall golf experience is. 
And so in that same vein, just because it's loud, just because it's exciting, just because it's the most frequent, doesn't mean that that's the input you should be taking from your customer. Use that, inform it, restore relationships, but really analyze what you're learning from listening to the customer and take that information and understand what's going to have the greatest business impact. There was, there's another one tick Thursday, did that off the cuff. I hope that that was something interesting to you, or even if it wasn't, tell me down in the comments. Scroll down there, let me know what you have to say about this. Let me know what your thoughts are about listen and act. Let me know what collect and analyze mean to you. Let me know what you'd wanna hear uh, on a one take Thursday and give me some ideas for the future. Would love to get that. And then of course, hit that subscribe button and tell a friend. Hope you enjoyed another One Take Thursday. I'm Rick Denton and I believe the best meals are served outside and require a passport.